My name is Chris Haskell, and I'm a reporter for Real News Tucson. And today I went down to the U of A and asked some people some questions about the presidential election for 2008. Take a look. Are you going to be voting in the election coming up here? Yep. All right. Now, and can I ask you who you're voting for? John McCain. John McCain. And can you tell me why? Um, I like his views on the economy more than Barack Obama. I'm, I consider myself much more fiscally conservative in my views, and I really agree with John McCain on those aspects more than Barack Obama. Okay. What would you think the presidential candidate should be talking about? I think they should talk about the, the economy is probably the most important because it affects everybody in every aspect of their life. I think other things like the war and just based in the social conflicts like abortion or stem cell research, I think those are really much less, they're, they're below the economy in my opinion just because the economy affects everybody down from like the richest people to the poorest people to it affects everybody no matter who you are you have to pay for things and so the economy affects everything and everything else is really second to that in my opinion okay well, and you hear a lot of talk about the economy I, some but I don't think enough I don't think they're specific enough on what they want to do they don't talk both of them don't talk specifically enough about what they want to do Lindsay, and uh, are you going to be voting in the upcoming election? I sure am. Yeah. All right, and who may I ask are you voting for? I'm going to vote for Barack Obama. Barack Obama. Yeah, surprisingly, on a college campus. <laughs> That's not that surprising. Yeah. Um, let me ask you, what, what uh, out of all the changes he's going to make, uh, what change do you like the most about Barack Obama? You know, that's a really good question, and uh, it's kind of hard to answer because the word change is so ubiquitous in this, in this election, but... Uh, I'm actually really proud of Joe Biden for uh, writing and, and supporting the, uh, uh, what is it called, Violence Against Women Act, because I'm a sexual assault uh, crisis counselor. Okay. And also education reform is really important, too, which all of us should be aware of on this uh, college campus. And I really like Obama's uh, reforms on that, you know, supporting charter schools, all that kind of stuff, and health care, really into health care for everyone. So. Excellent. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. And uh, anything else you'd like to say about the election? Or uh, I would I would hope that people, you know, take the high ground on the election regardless, you know, about Palin and all that kind of stuff. I just hope that everybody, you know, focuses on the issues. And I'm looking forward to the debates. The debates yeah. will be good, yeah. Okay. Have you heard of Ron Paul? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, I'm not a libertarian. No, no. I, you know, I've studied the issues, and I feel like I'm pretty aware of what's going on. And uh, I'm into government, you know, helping out if they can. And super small government or a non-existent government isn't something I'm really into personally. But, you know, hey, it's good, it's good to have a choice. So. Okay. Well, you go to the U of A, I'm assuming? Yep. Okay, and, and you're going to be voting in the upcoming election? Yeah. Okay, and who, who uh, are you going to be voting for? John McCain. John McCain, and can you tell me why? Um, just because my dad's actually an elected Republican official. Okay. That has a lot to do with it, and like, I've seen what he chooses as his political beliefs, and I agree with them to a point. And like, I just think that Obama doesn't have enough experience in the White House to change the corruption that's been going on, and okay. he doesn't know enough people the way John McCain is. And Obama's comment about Sarah Palin really kind of upset me. And I also think that Obama just like lacks experience, and I think it does kind of make me nervous that there are so many there are still so many close-minded people that there might be an attack against Obama, and I think that's awful, but it's yeah. a truism. Yeah. It sucks, but that's America. Yes, this is true. <laughs> and Anna and yourself? Um, I'm kind of torn right now. I'm leaning more towards Obama right now just because I'm not a fan of um, Sarah, and I just don't think she has that much experience from what I've seen on the news yeah. and I think Obama seems like he's gonna he look, seems like he's gonna try to make a lot of changes which is really good do you know what what change in particular do you know that you like the most about Obama what um, what change is his biggest one for you well I don't really agree with the war right now so I kind of like Okay, Dan, do you know Obama's, uh, uh, you know, his his point on the war, what he's going to do? Do you know what he said about it? <laughs> was, I can't remember it. <laughs> you know. I was watching McCain on the news last night, so that's what's in my head right now. Yeah. But it's hard because they both have things that I like about them and things that I don't. And they're both really good candidates, so 
Yeah, they're both good it's candidates gonna be for a, once. <laughs> it's going to be a hard decision. It seems like it's going to be a close election, too, because everyone likes both candidates. Yeah, yeah, definitely. What do you think is the most important issue they ought to be talking about, whether or not they are? What is the most important issue for you guys? What do you think? Big brother. Big brother, okay. And are they addressing that? Is any candidate addressing that? Um, I think Obama is addressing it in the way that I don't approve of. Like, he's going to, like... I understand that we need health care changes, but I think the fact that he's forcing people, like, if he wants to enforce, I don't, I just want less laws instead of more of them. Yeah, correct, yeah. You've heard of Ron Paul, I assume. Yeah, I really support Ron Paul, but he'll never get elected. Well, it's it's kind of hard right now, especially. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's because of the system and the way it is. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, yeah. anything else you'd like to say Republican. about the... My yeah. only reason for not liking McCain right now is... I'm really pro-choice, and um, the that'll never get changed. Yeah, Aunt Sarah. Want, I saw Vietnam. she like supports like people having kids when they're like if they're raped, having like actually having the child, and I don't really think that's think? right. I think we're a lot better off than Bush and Kerry. <laughs> <laughs> that's not. I think at least lot. people like like things about both presidents instead of picking which one they hate less, yeah. as opposed to last election. Yeah. Obama. Barack Obama. Okay. And can mm -hmm. you tell me what uh, what it is? Why you're going to vote for Barack Obama? Because I don't want eight more years of the same policies. And John McCain voted 90 percent with George W. Bush, and we are in two wars. The economy's in the toilet. Um, I can't get a full-time job here, and um, I think that uh, the I haven't heard a plan from McCain to change this. Are you a student here at the U of A? I'm a part-time student. I'm an adjunct teacher at Pima Community College. Excellent. And you're going to be voting in the upcoming election? Uh, yeah. Yeah, and can I ask you who you're voting for? Uh, I'm not really sure yet, but probably Obama. Probably Obama. Yeah. Yeah. It's not. There's not a lot of choices right now, are there? Uh, no, they're not. <laughs> and what what issues do you think they ought to be talking about in a presidential election? Um, probably alternative energy. Yeah. Getting us off gasoline and oil. Yeah. And. Uh, they talking about that? I mean, yeah, they are. They're both trying to put in big packages for it, but um, I mean, I'd rather trust a Democrat on that one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, uh, you know, is there anything else you, you can say about the election? Uh, yeah, I'd like to hear more about what they're going to do to support Israel. Yeah. And um, and what they're going to do about Iran also. Yeah. Because that could be uh, the next big problem. What do you think you know, they ought to do about Iran? I mean, are you worried about Iran as a threat? Uh, yeah, I'm worried about them as a threat towards Israel, for sure. Yeah. Uh, you have ties to Israel, or you? Yeah. Yeah. Gotcha. Pretty much it, I guess. Are you going to be voting in the upcoming election? I will be. Okay, and can I ask you who you're voting for? Um, you know, I'm not 100% positive yet. Um, I don't really like the Democrats or the Republicans. Okay. I'm going to go with, uh, I was a Ron Paul supporter for a long time. Okay. Uh, and still am, but he's not running, so uh, you know, I couldn't tell you yet who I'm going to vote for. Uh -huh. I might write him in, actually. It's, it's, yeah, that's a, that's a good yeah. option. A good option, definitely. I think so. What are they supposed to be talking about in an election? What do you supposed think? Supposed to be talking about real things that affect every person, not just the big scheme of things and you know, all kinds of random stuff that we nobody really cares about. I'd, I like to hear about personal stuff, like what's going to really affect my life, what's going to change things around here, like us losing $20 million or whatever it was in the budget for this school and things like that. Um, talk about education, talk about the kids. That's what I care about, but the future generations. Yeah. And I don't see him talking about that very much. So <laughs> Exactly. That's what I like exactly. to hear. Well, thank you very much, yeah, and, uh, and good luck on who to vote for. Thank you. I'd like to say, too, that after the first interview, uh, the police state was well into action, and I had uh, some police officers asking me questions, called me over right after I interviewed the first people, and uh, they asked. The police, first of all, told me uh, to shut my camera off, and uh, I actually did, and I, I thought I turned it back on, but it, it had timed out, so but I got no recording of it. But uh, they, they first told me they were suspicious of what I was doing. Uh, I told them that I was with a news station on the Internet, and the guy says to me, uh, he says, well, that makes me a lot more suspicious, actually.
a lot more suspicious of your activities and what you're going to do with these tapes and how you will alter them and uh, in what means you will put them on the internet. <laughs> and I said, Are, really, why? Now, honestly, why would, uh, because I tell you I'm with an internet news station, uh, why would you think that that, it would, that would be make you more suspicious? Uh, anyway, after uh, detaining me for a little bit of time, they they told me to go on and uh, and that's fine. I said, could I continue recording? And they said, yeah, that's fine. And uh, thank you. Thanks for watching. That's Chris Haskell reporting from Real News Tucson. Five stars for Ron Paul.